Hello everybody, my name is Andrew and you can learn more at contemplativecaregiver.com. I'm out here in this 15 degree weather, getting snowed on and walking through some sandy mud. It's fantastic. I'm up here at Barker Reservoir in Netherland, Colorado. We're up some, I believe 8,500 feet elevation above sea water and it is a beautiful day. I'm out here fly fishing. I haven't had any luck so far, but I'm fly fishing for kokanee and brown trout. I think what I need to do is switch my setup. I'm using a dry dropper setup right now, and I, I, what I, I'm using for the bottom is really busy and big, trying to draw attention to some of the kokanee, but I'm feeling like I might withdraw and go back to a dry drop nymph and try to fish that. So I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day Hopefully I'll catch dinner and be able to honor this beautiful earth a little bit more. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you soon. Whether you're warm or cold or however you enjoy this beautiful earth, it's here for you. Make a snow angel. Have some fun. Thank you. Hi everyone, I just want to share with you today's catch. I'm gonna, I just had them in the snow so I'm going to clean them off for a second. And I have a brown trout and uh, he does have teeth. So here's the, the fish and I'm going to clean them and fillet them. Well not fillet them right now but I'm going to clean them. And, uh, So here's the fish, beautiful, I love this beautiful fish. Brown trout is new, my new favorite animal. And so I'm gonna clean them out and I'm gonna work on making a, uh, a leather out of his skin. So first things first, I'm gonna take off this pair of gloves because I'm actually going to be digging inside. Hey bud, I love you. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to put him on his belly. Let's see if I can change this camera angle a little bit. Okay, so I'll just do it this way. So I'm going to cut, if we see here's his, the end of his gill these first two fins. I'm going to cut right in here. Um, his heart is in here and I just want to end the suffering as quick as possible. And I'm going to cut all the way down to here to the anus. You see this little white stuff coming out. That's a little gross. Um, so we're going to clean all that out. So uh, I have this awkwardly long, uh, I would call it a sword, but I'm going to inappropriately use. Don't do this, but I need to make a per precise incision so I love you thank you I know baby it's okay so we just take the fillet knife and go down gently Holy 
down to this last fin. Okay. And then we'll continue to cut just a little bit back down here. Okay. So the next thing is uh, continue to thank the animal. I'm going to take my fingers and actually put it in the slit that I just made. And if I can't get in, it means I got to go in just a little bit deeper. It's a little gruesome, but this is this is life. This is how we honor honor. I know, baby. I'm sorry. Yeah. Trust me, you'll be with me for a long time. I will honor you. And figure out how to keep you with me. So we just run our finger down through there. It's kind of gross, but we got to do it. I'm gonna split down here. Got a little bone down there, you know. Work for. Keep going, cause you got to get all the guts out. It's gross, but it's a little hard to do when your fingers fall asleep. Well. It's actually that they're cold, not that they're falling asleep. All right. Okay. Had to get two hands involved. Okay, so this is the gross part, um, but here are some of the organs inside. I'm actually going to take off my other glove because it's getting hard to, to do this and getting bloody. So, you're, you still there? You still breathing a little bit? I love you. Thank you so much. Okay. Put those there. So, we got to pull these out we got the liver this is edible that's connected to some other stuff that we got to get rid of though so we got to pull this out just to, you know it's gonna be messy but you gotta do your best because this is all the intestines and the entrails it's kind of gross um, but you know that's what keeps us alive we see this big old uh, shiny thing in here. This is actually the swim bladder, um, which helps the, the the fish float up and down and determine its buoyancy. Um, so, we'll pull out the... And uh, here's a couple more organs, but that's kind of gross. Um, so, I'm gonna cut this a little bit closer. I gotta pull all these out too. I know, baby, I know. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, express it. Let it out. Okay, so we got a little bit more blood back there. I'm gonna kinda pull it out. Pull out as much as you can. Um, the more you get out here, the more uh, cleaner it will be when you eat, so. I'm just going to rinse this out. He's still wrangling, but this is just brain activity right now. He's actually not really alive. So back in there, there's another um, big section of blood. You just want to get that out there. your finger along the edge and that's what's gonna feed its spine and keep it moving on you okay you just clear it out as much as you can you don't have to be perfect here okay a little bit more coming out So there's our fish. Beautiful. You can see the inside. Ow. He's got sharp teeth. Ow. Um, and see what it looks like on the inside. Still there's some stuff. Just pull that gunk out. Clean it as much as possible. Again, you don't have to be perfect. 
But if there's any organs in there, definitely try and pull those out. Now, if you're trying to make a skin or preserve, preserve an animal like this, um, don't put it directly on ice. If you put it directly on ice, it will damage it. So I'm going to put it in a bag. I'm going to press it down and wrap the bag around the fish. And then I already have another bag. He's kind of moving still. I know. Um, but that's just nervous system stuff. Uh, and I'm going to put him in a bag of snow. So I don't have any ice with me. Um, so. Okay, uh, as you can see, that was pretty pretty gruesome. So here's some of the other organs. I'm going to continue the cycle of life and throw these beauties in the water. Some crayfish will love me later. Maybe a catfish. So we got a mess here. I don't want to freak anybody out. Um, and uh, actually, looks like I found some other people's line. So we're going to take that out. Clean up our little blood mess as much as possible which is kind of hard to do when it's all frozen my fingers are freezing anyways um, the next video will be uh, actually taking apart the fish and I'll show you the skinning process and what that looks like uh, on my way to making some leathers thank you so much for watching have a fantastic day and uh, check out all this beautiful earth we live in some water and some snow. Have a great day.